Uh, let's see, what the fuck was Good Friday last week? Like last Friday? Um, Good Friday is a day when Christians are the fake Christians. Remember, an invisible fairy man like Jesus Christ's death on the cross, his execution upon an instrument of state torture. But it's also a powerful reminder of how dangerous it is for society when we have an authoritarian po politicians and corrupt religious leaders conspire for power and dominion. Um, Good, Friday's warning, Good Friday's warnings resonate deeply, even now, nearly 2,000 years after um, the invisible fairy man Jesus' death. That's because the, re the relationship between the religious authorities of Christ's time and the brutal, um, and the brutal um, go Roman governor who ordered his execution, Pontius Pilate, is, is a little different from the Christian nationalist bond that exists today between the Republican Party and the conservative American Christianity. Now, um, regional, regional Roman dictators like Pilate relied on local religious elites to help them build power by keeping order with, <coughs> within their jurisdictions. In exchange, the religious leaders um, would be allowed to keep power and status. Everybody benefited except for their critics like, like the visible fairy man Jesus, the poor, and the oppressed. Now, two million years later, uh, modern Republican politicians like Donald, uh, like Donald Trump and, rep and Representative Marjorie Tra M. Trader Green, um, they used conservative evangelical and Roman Catholic leaders in a similar fashion, repeatedly citing their faith, which they don't have any, sharing their national spotlight and promising businesses their religious freedom, which they don't have, which they haven't done anything, and to practice har harmful discrimination, which they are harmful. Now, eager to bask in the political glory, far too many pastors and priests eat it up, indoctrinating their followers with the ideology of Christian nationalism, the false idea is that America is a Christian nation and that there is no difference between one's conservative Christian identity and one, another, and, one, and one another's national identity. And yet these same politicians, despite their claims, um, they, they claim to uphold biblical morality, which they don't even read their Bible. Um, even if they were Christian, they don't even read their Bible and they don't even act like it. And then they completely ignore the gospel. And instead they try to cut, they cut access to health care for the poor and middle class. They control the bodies of women and the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people in the U.S., and they force public schools to teach their children a falsified and racist version of the U.S. history. And when these outwardly um, religious Republicans lose elections, they don't think twice about changing the rules, attacking the right to vote for demanding that Congress throw out millions of ballots from 2020, which would have disproportionately affected the votes of black Americans and other people of color. And why then do so many conservative religious leaders turn their backs on the visible fairy man Jesus to stick their favorite um to stick it to their favorite immoral um immoral politicians. Is it because they now worship the altar of power and not a god? As the title of investigative journalist Catherine Stewart's latest book says, The Power of Worshippers, I don't doubt that these pastors, priests and pun and pundits believe that they're doing the right thing. Um let's take a look at quote um as a quote from the book of Luke. Um it's listed as four one slash thirteen. When Satan tempted Jesus with absolute dominion, and to you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me, and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it would all be yours. Jesus didn't fall for it, but the maggot movement's politicians and pastors most certainly have. Um, Trump's, Trump's attempted power grab on January 6th of 2021 featured Christian nationalist signs that declare Jesus as my king, and Trump is my squatter. Um, which he, um, which he's no longer squatter anyway. The attack itself was partly inspired by the attendance of religious leaders at the Stop the Steal Klan rally, which there was no steal, including the book-burning pastor Greg Locke. The prominent Christian radio host and author Eric Maxites and the Catholic leaders Arch Archbishop Car um, Carlo Vagano and Bishop Joseph Strickland. The evangelist Franklin Graham initially downplayed the Phil Coop dismissed it as the work of Antifa, which it wasn't. Um... Um, Magano and Locke have since joined the Reawaken America mega, me, um, mega church, maggot church thing tour that was headlined by um, Trump's ugly ass kid Eric, Michael Flynn, the disgraced former general and Trump national security advisor, and a host of maggot celebrities. Um, tour, sp tour speakers used their church platforms to spread QAnon conspiracy theories, decry political opponents, and COVID vaccines as Luciferian, and assure their audience and everyone in the room is on TV Jesus, which they're not. At one re at one reawaken America um event last last year, Flynn even proclaimed that America should embrace just one religion, and we've seen what happens when religious leaders um partner with authoritarian rulers before, and not just when Pontius Pilate killed um the visible fairy man Jesus, 
but also when the Deutsche Christian threw its support behind Adolf Hitler and in and, and in Eastern Europe today, where the Russian Orthodox pa um, pa Patriarch Kirill is among Russian President Vladimir Putin's staunchest supporters. And yet, while Trump's authoritarian maggot movement has become all but synonymous with the white evangelical Christianity, it does not speak for every Christian in the U.S. who are sick of seeing our faith hijacked for hateful polo for hateful political agendas. Um, for example, the Christians Against Christian Nationalism is an inspiring initiative that's convened by the Baptist Joint Committee and endorsed by multiple denominational leaders. It is particularly notable for producing helpful resources that churches and individuals um, can use to identify and root out this toxic ideology from their own communities. At the Faithful of America, the Christian organization that um, that somebody leads is more than thirteen thousand grassroots has more than thirteen um, thousand grassroots members, and they have called on churches not to host a reawaken America tour. They um they have also deployed a mobile billboard truck to recent tour stops, exposing the speakers as false prophets who destroyed our religion to undermine democracy. Um, <coughs> another twenty thousand Christians have signed. Um, what they call the Faithful America's Petition, um, to Paramount and Roku, calling on the streaming platforms to drop the propaganda networks OAN, Newsmax, and Real America's Voice, yeah, because they're not real news channels. Um, Holy Week is a time for Christians to unite in Jesus' resurrection, um, or the or the visible pyramid's re resurrection, which he won't be resurrected, and called a new life, and not to be divided by the old, um, old life's hunger for healthy power. Excuse me a second. Um, but it, it but it is within anyone's prayer that history would remember today's Christians in the U.S. as standing in the tradition of the German theologian um, Dietrich Bonhoeffer and his courageous opposition to the Nazis, rather than as spiritual heirs to Hitler's Deutsche Christian. And this good fr and this um, last Good Friday, let us take up um, people took up the cr um, take up crosses and love our neighbors by standing up to those brutal authoritarians who would destroy both democracy. And the church in the visible prayer man Jesus' name. So if you like the video, um give the video a like and subscribe to my channel RBW King. Also, you can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, you could donate to my Patreon link, which you can find on the about section of my YouTube channel. And just for a little as a few bucks a month, you could donate and that could help go a long way. And thanks for listening.